these people want to know. Where in the world is San Diego Bum? And one of these dunchies could find her. She plays baseball, has traveled to Florida, and would like to take a trip to France. Meet Amy Romanov. He likes to draw, loves to ski every winter, and wants to take a skiing vacation in Switzerland. Meet Orlando Molina. She speaks French and Spanish, likes to sing and dance, and has traveled to Grenada and Panama. Meet Janelle Jones. And here's at the senior agent in charge of training new recruits, Greg Lee. Oh, I'm not here. Away with you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks, guys. Thank you very much. <laughs> Janelle, how are you, buddy? Orlando, good to see you. Amy, nice to see you guys. Hey, they're just back from their world trip tour. You know. Rockabella. I'm going to check on that beforehand. Okay, you know, the one of you that catches Carmen San Diego today is going to get that trip to anywhere in North America. And as we say around here, that's not bad. So let's get things started right now. Chief, who are we after? This is Vic the Slick. Vic the Slick. That putrid pitch man who pilfers for Carmen San Diego. His last known whereabouts? Honolulu, Hawaii. King Kamehameha I started out as a warrior on Hawaii's biggest island, Hawaii. Kamehameha took over that island by force, then invaded other Hawaiian islands. By 1810, he ruled them all and managed to unite people who had been fighting each other for centuries. Although King Kamehameha had been a fierce warrior, he became a compassionate, popular leader. After he died, the king's memory was honored by the statue in front of Honolulu's old judiciary building. Well, that honor is a goner, gumshoes. Today, Vic hung tin into Honolulu, looking to catch a king instead of a wave. A Kamehameha commotion followed the slick one's arrival. But when last seen, Vic and his captive king were kicking back with coconut cocktails. Thumb shoes, you have to unravel this royal ripoff and solve today's case. <laughs> Kamehameha Mayhem. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Chief. All right, guys, trying to find Vic and the statue to help you out. We're going to search out with 50 Acme Crime Bucks. What a happy crew you are. It's good to see. Every time you're answering one correctly, we're going to give you 10 extra Crime Bucks. And the two of you with the highest score at the end of this round will then proceed to the next round. It's going to be a good game. Okay, guys, for our first clue, we go to Cassandra Henderson from All News, All the Time Net. Cassandra. Listen up, gumshoes. Vic sat Fort Leavenworth just west of the Missouri River. He's eyeing the monument to the Buffalo Soldiers, African-American troops who helped settle the American West. The Cheyenne Indians gave the soldiers that name because their curly hair reminded the Cheyenne of Buffalo. The soldiers were often given tough jobs and bad equipment, but they served with pride for almost a century. Twelve Buffalo Soldiers won the Medal of Honor for service. Now, go win your own medal and bust that creep, Vic. Hey, Cassandra. Okay, guys, name the state where Vic took the statue. Is it Iowa, Tennessee, or Kansas? Remember the clues that we heard? Fort Leavenworth, just west of Missouri River, and Buffalo Soldiers Monument. Janelle, what do you say? I said Tennessee. Tennessee. Orlando? I said Kansas. Kansas. Amy? I said Iowa. Iowa. Everybody said something different. The answer we're looking for is Kansas. Nice job, Orlando. So that means, Janelle, you stay at 50, Orlando goes up to 60, Amy still back to 50 at me crime bucks, but this is still a very close game, beginning of the case. For our next clue, we, oh, to the alley. Hey, what's going on out here? Hey, Greg. Oh, the rapid Chris B. How you doing, man? Okay, what's up, okay. Bud? Well, the kids are the clue, and I got a tip for the gum shoes. Oh, very good. Lay it on us. Troubles in the house gum shoes. So check out what I say, Vic's in the smallest division of the UK. Pete the Giant's Causeway, it's a path to the sea. 40,000 stepping stones, some as high as 50 feet. For a lot, a lot of years, these rocks have been chilling since some hot lava shot from underground through the sill. Like a hornet in the nest, you best set up a sting if you want to catch Vic and the king. Hey, say that. Hey, say that. Come here, man. The rapid hey. Chris B, ladies and gentlemen. Give it up for you. Hey, Chris. Yes, the rapping Chris B and the balding Greg Lee, all on one big show. Okay, guys, name the location, if you will, please. Is it Ireland, Wales, or Northern Ireland? Remember the clues that we heard? Smallest political division of the UK and Giant's Causeway, volcanic stepping stones that lead to the sea. This one may be a little tricky, but you do the best you can. Come up with an answer as quickly as you can. Trying to find Vic in the statue. Amy's kind of shaking her head going, oh, I don't know, I'm not sure. We'll see what happens. Janelle, what do you say? 
I said Northern Ireland. Northern Ireland, Orlando. I said Wales. Wales, Amy. I said Northern Ireland. Northern Ireland. The answer we're looking for is Northern Ireland. Nice job, ladies. That'll tie some things up around here. Okay, guys, just a reminder for all of you watching at home, all of our answers have been verified by National Geographic World. National Geographic World. I love that thing. Okay, guys, for our next clue, we put together a little... Oh, wait a minute. That sound means it's time for us to check in to the Roach Hotel. Follow me. Yo! Hey, Kafka, what's happening? Oh, hey, Greg. I heard Vic was in the capital city of Bhutan. It's a tiny country way up in the Himalaya between India and China. Life there might seem strange to a kid in the U.S. For one thing, if you lived in the capital, you might find black bears or wild boar roaming free in your backyard. Well, what's so strange about that? Huh? Never mind. Oh. Well, then you'd find that the city streets are full of dogs. There are a lot more dogs than cars there. And 35 years ago, the country didn't use money. In fact, people once paid their taxes with rice or cheese. Hey, that's what I keep in my piggy bank. Oh, empty. You know, something just dawned on me. I wonder if pigs have roachy banks. <laughs> okay, guys, name the city, if you will, please. Is it? Thimpu, Islamabad, or Ulaanbaatar. Remember the clues that we heard? Uh, what were those clues? Oh, capital of Bhutan in the Himalaya and between China and India. Uh, Janelle, we'll start with you. What do you say? Thimpu. Uh, Thimpu, what do you think? Uh, Orlando. Thimpu. Thimpu, what do you think, Amy? Thimpu. It doesn't seem to bother you guys. Everybody get the right answer. Nice job. Nice job. <laughs> So that means Janelle goes up to 70, Orlando has 70, Amy 70, Acme Crime Bucks. Still a tie game, and what better time than this to have the lightning round? All of these questions are about Vic's most recent known whereabouts, which is Bhutan. I'll give you five Crime Bucks every time you answer a question correctly. So hands on the buzzers, listen carefully. Here we go. If you lived in Bhutan, you and everyone else in the country would officially turn a year older on exactly the same day. Very interesting. When is that day? Is it Halloween, New Year's Day, or the first day of the new TV season? Janelle? New Year's Day. Is right. Nice job. Five for you. Good. <laughs> Takes up to 75. Here's the next question. What is Bhutan's national sport? Is it ping pong, archery, or snowmobile racing? Orlando? Ping pong. Sorry, it's not ping pong. Janelle? Archery. It's archery. Nice job. Five for you. <laughs> Takes up to 80. Here's the last one. A popular snack food in Bhutan is called zao. What is zao? Is it candied yak meat, deep fried yogurt, or baked puffed rice? Orlando. Baked puffed rice. Is right. Nice job. Five for you. Good round, guys. That means at the end of that round, Janelle has 80, Orlando 75, Amy 70, Acme Crime Bucks. Okay, for our next clue, we've... Uh, Greg, yeah. could you come into my office sure. right now? Okay, Chief, you don't have to be so mean about it, yeah. Uh, but I tell you what, this is going to be a good thing because it'll give me a little bit of time to work on my science project. Project? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Be right back. You know, Chief, a guy's really got to irrigate a lot this time of year. Otherwise, you can lose the whole thing. Have to go to beans. Uh, Hate geez. for that to happen. Real quick questions, Greg. Yeah. What are you talking about? And why do I have dirt? A huge pile of dirt on my desk. Wait a minute, Chief. First off, this is not dirt. This is soil. Huh? I'm trying to create the first ever indoor desk farm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you picked my desk for this honor. That's right, Chief. As a matter of fact, I think we're going to have one of the best pretzel crops in many a year right here. Ah. Uh. Do you think you could work the uh, contest into your rotation schedule, Mr. McGregor? Uh, I can't right now, Chief. Gotta fire up the tractor and plow. Cover for me. Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> no problem. Here's who won today. Congratulations to the winners. And if you'd like to win, write down what got stolen and from where every time you watch the show. When you collected four loops and locations, put them on a postcard with your name and address and send it to Ashme Crime, that's P.O. Box 4300, New York, New York, 10163. Every day we'll pick five people whose lists are correct and send them each a Carmen T-shirt. Well, what do you think? Not a bad pretzel crop, huh? <laughs> Greg, I can't believe it. We're live <laughs> death farmers. Right. Is this fresh? Oh. Hey, did you feed the chicken? What chicken? The ones that I'm raising in the uh, drawer of your desk. <laughs> Sound hungry. By the way, Bessie could use some milk in. Bessie. Mm -hmm. 
I'm telling you guys, there is nothing like baby pretzels right off the vine this time of year. Very sweet. Who better to know than me? Phone tap. Head for a jungle region in northern Guatemala. It's part of the biggest rainforest in North America. You can camouflage that king. Good idea, Carmen. Plenty of cover there. Maybe not for long. People clear thousands of acres each year to make farmland and sell wood. And that's dangerous. What? People get hit by fallen trees? No, you dimwit. Cutting down these forests can wipe out plants and wildlife, and it exposes ancient burial sites for thieves to vandalize. Thieves like me, for instance? No vandalizing, Vic. We may be thieves, but we're politically correct thieves. Hey, guys, name the location, if you will, please. Is it Mosquito Coast, Paten, or Oaxaca? Oaxaca. Remember the clues that we heard? Northern Guatemala. Uh, Guatemala, part of largest rainforest in North America and ancient burial sites. Janelle's ready, so is Orlando, so is Amy. Janelle, what do you say? Mosquito Coast. Mosquito Coast. Orlando? Patan. Patan. Uh, Amy? Patan. Patan. The answer we're looking for is Patan. Nice job, Orlando and Amy. All right, nice job, everybody, for our next clue now. Oh, that must be the doorbell. Be right back. Hold on a second. Oh, isn't that nice? Little flamingos. Check it out. This is very cute. You know what? These must be a gift from the uh, from the Neighborhood Improvement Society. Very nice of them to do that. Ah, uh, Greg, that's no ordinary plastic phenicopterus. Phena what, Chief? Oh, that's big word talk for pink flamingo. You see... Yeah. Vic is in a country on the southwest coast of Africa. Thousands of pink flamingos flock there when heavy rains flood the barren Itosha Pan Basin. Once the water dries up, that's it. The birds are out of there. Now, stop playing with that flamingo and get back to work. Chief, I'm not playing. Chief, I'm catching up on my ornithology. Whatever you say, Mr. Audubon. Okay, thanks, Chief. <clears throat> Gumshoes, name the uh, country, if you would please. Is it Tanzania, Namibia, or Ghana? Remember the clues that we heard? Southwest coast of Africa and uh, migratory flocks of flamingos. Janelle's ready. So is Orlando, and so is Amy. Janelle, what do you think? Namibia. Namibia. Orlando, what do you think? Namibia. Namibia. Amy? Namibia. Namibia. The answer we're looking for is Namibia. Nice job, everybody. That threw me off for a minute there. So that means Janelle goes up to 90, Orlando 95, Amy 90, Acme Crime Bugs. However, we received word that Vic has left Namibia. So let's pick up the cheese. The cheese. <laughs> Haven't I seen you somewhere before? <laughs> okay, guys, all these worth five Acme Crime Bugs, hands on your buzzers. <laughs> Listen carefully. Here we go. Vic hustled the Hawaiian statue to the land of enchantment. Name the state, Janelle. New Mexico. New Mexico. Then they lope to a luau in the capital, Amy? Phoenix? Yes. Next, Vic crept with the statue north over the border to Janelle. Utah. Yes. He then dashed to a dam named for a U.S. president. Janelle. Hoover. Yes. Vic sidetracked the statue to the home of the Golden Gate, uh, Amy. San Francisco. Nice job. Yes, very good. That means at the end of the chase run, Janelle has 105, Orlando 95, Amy 100. Crime bucks. Nice job. Man. Okay, now it's time for the final clue of this round, which means you have to decide how much you want to risk. You know how this works. Take a look right over here, if you will, please. Here's the portion of the world where we think Vic is headed. Take a look at the map and think about it. <laughs> Okay, once you make those selections, that's it, laid down right there beside you. Here's the final clue of this round, which comes to us from Acme. Money makes the world go round net. You'll enjoy this. Gumshoes, head for a British colony in the Atlantic. During your civil war, a Confederate doctor plotted to spread a deadly disease from here to northern U.S. cities. He planned to take blankets and clothes from our yellow fever victims and ship them to Union states. The doc thought anyone who touched them would get infected. But people don't spread yellow fever, mosquitoes do. Speaking of vile vermin, get over here and swat Vic. Okay, good enough, guys. Uh, name the location where Vic has taken the statue. Is it Bermuda, Jamaica, or Puerto Rico? Remember the clues that we heard, British colony in the Atlantic and Confederate plot 
to spread yellow fever. Right in front of you there, Orlando. There you go. We'll start with you, Orlando. You have 95 Acme Crime Bucks. How much did you risk, buddy? I risked, um, 20 Crime 20 bucks. Crime Bucks. What'd you say, bud? Jamaica. Jamaica is not the answer we're looking for. You're going to go down 20. This thing isn't over with yet, though. And you have a very sympathetic audience there. Amy, you have 100 Acme Crime Bucks. How much did you risk? I risked 20 Crime Bucks. 20 Crime Bucks takes you up to 120 if you're right. What'd you say? I said Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico is not the answer we're looking for. You're going to get, you're going to get uh, 20 crime bucks. And again, the sympathy pours for you as well. So now you have 105 Acme crime bucks. How much did you risk? I risked 30 crime bucks. 30 Acme crime bucks. What'd you say? Bermuda. Bermuda is the answer we're looking for. Nice job, Janelle. That means you and Amy are going on to the next round. Orlando, listen, man, that was a close game. Put it air, pal. You did some nice stuff. We did some great stuff for you. Cheap. Big the Slick can be one top customer when he wants to be. Fortunately, we equip our gumshoes with the latest in crime-fighting equipment. Take, for example, this nifty Acme travel pack. Inside, you'll find an Acme. The official Carmen T-shirt. A subscription to National Geographic World Magazine. And our Acme voice identification badge and leave a message wallet. Help! Help! Get me out of here! Lemke? Is that you, Lemke? Are you doing repairs? You got stuck in there again? Oh, what? hold on. Let me get a screwdriver. <laughs> Thanks, Chief. Okay, guys. You ready to go to Bermuda? Get all your Greg, stuff ready? Yes, Chief. Greg, would yeah. you get some crossword puzzles from Fern? That way I'll have something to do on the plane. Sure, Chief. You know, it makes me nervous when her lips don't move, huh? Okay, guys, you ready to go to Bermuda? All right, if you get the doors enough, do grab my hat, Amy. I have the chief. You know where we're going. We're going to Bermuda. Here we go. Greg, are you sure you don't mind riding out there? That's no problem, chief. I've already seen the in-flight movie. Okay, gumshoes, here we are in Bermuda. They know exactly where to go. Amazing. So in that case, I'll go right over here. Chief, what can you tell us? All right, gumshoes. There are 15 places here in Bermuda where you might find Vic the Warrant or the King Kamehameha statue. Here are a few of them. First, the capital city of Hamilton. These candy-colored houses are built of sturdy cinder blocks <laughs> to withstand the toughest tropical storms. Next, check in with these anti-gravity net agents in the town of St. George. During the U.S. Civil War, relief supplies were shipped from this harbor to the Confederate States. Then be sure to search Church Bay near a dramatic cliffside beach with a... Hmm. No church. Well, go figure. And finally, drum roll, please. Debrief these Acme Parumpa Pum Pum net agents. They'll be glad to help you beat a path to Vic. Well, that's your briefing, gumshoes. Now off and do the rightful thing. Return Hawaii's ripped off king. We'll do it, Chief. Okay, guys, loot, warrant, and crook is the order. Janelle, you had the most at the end of the last round. You go first. Fort Hamilton. Fort Hamilton. Nothing there. We're on our way. Amy? Sandy's Parish. Sandy's Parish. The warrant. Nice job. You get the warrant. You'll get a free turn. Remember, though, loot, warrant, crook is the order. Go ahead, Amy. Gibbs Hill Lighthouse. It is the oldest cast iron lighthouse in the world. Gibbs Hill Lighthouse. Nothing there. We turn them back around. Both of them. Yes. Janelle, go ahead. Gombe Dancer Show? Uh, Gombe Dancer Show. Ah, uh, dance. <laughs> Nothing there. <laughs> turn it around. Amy, go ahead. Cut Match Crickets, Crickets Festival? Uh, Cut Match Cricket Festival. Crying Hawaiian. Nice job. You got the loot. You get a free turn. Go ahead. Sandy's Parish. Sandy's Parish. The, the warrant. warrant. The loot and the warrant. Go ahead, Amy. Looking for the crook. Crystal Caves. Uh, Mark Twain called it the most beautiful caves in the world. Crystal Caves. Nothing, nothing. Thank you very much. Oh, a little less. Very nice. All three go get turned back around. Janelle, your turn. Cup Match Cricket Festival. Cup Match Cricket Festival. Hula Hoopla. Go ahead, Janelle. Sandy's Parish. Sandy's Parish. The Warrant. The Loot and the Warrant trying to find a crook. Janelle. Peppercorn Ceremony. Peppercorn Ceremony. Nope, nothing there. Turn it back around. Amy, your turn. Cup Match Cricket Festival. Cup Match Cricket Festival. Festival. Come in, man, see you later. Go ahead, Amy. Sandy's Parish. Sandy's Parish. The Warrant. The Loot and the Warrant trying to find a crook. Amy. No idea. Castle Harbor. She's going to try Castle Harbor. <clears throat> Sorry, nothing there. We turn all three back around. Janelle, back to you. Cup Match Cricket Festival. Cup Match Cricket Festival. King Grab. Go ahead, Janelle. Sandy's Parish. Sandy's Parish. 
The Warren. Just one more is all you need. Go ahead. Tucker's Town. Tucker's Town. Ooh. Sorry, nothing there. We turn them all three back around. In your turn. Cup Match Cricket Festival. Cup Match Cricket Festival. Honolulu. Go ahead, Amy. Sandy's Parish. <laughs> Sandy's Parish. The Warrens. <laughs> Amy. Spittle Pond. Spittle Pond. Anything? No. Gross. Turn them all back around. What was that? Gross. Okay. Janelle, go ahead. Cup Match Cricket Festival. Cup Match Cricket Festival. Aloha. Aloha. Go ahead, Janelle. Sandy's Parish. Sandy's Parish. The Warrens. Looking for that crook. Camden House. Camden House, anything. <laughs> Sorry, all three of you turn back around. Amy, it's back to you. Cup Match Cricket Festival. Cup Match Cricket Festival. Burgle Buzz. Go ahead, Amy. Sandy's Parish. Sandy's Parish. The Warrens. Amy, just one more is all Gibbs you need. Gibbs Hill Lighthouse. Gibbs Hill Lighthouse. <laughs> oh, sorry. Turn back around. Janelle, your turn. Cup Match Cricket Festival. Cup Match Cricket Festival. Tensions Mountain. Go ahead, Janelle. Sandy's Parish. Sandy's Parish. The, the Warrens. Go ahead, Janelle. One more. Hog Penny Pup. Pub. pub. <laughs> Couldn't have said it better myself and probably won't. Hog Penny Pub. Mm. Sorry. Not the air. Amy, go ahead. It was worth it for the sound, though. Go ahead, Amy. Cup Match Cricket Festival. Cup Match Cricket Festival. Pressure's building. Go ahead. Amy. Sandy's Parish. Sandy's Parish. The Warrens. Just one more. Ireland Island. Which one? Ireland Island. Ireland Island. Mm. No, I thought it was going to be there. We'll turn all three back around. Janelle, back to you. Cup Match Cricket Festival. Cup Match Cricket Festival. Oh, my goodness. Go ahead, Janelle. Sandy's Parish. <laughs> Sandy's Parish. The Warrens. Oh, yeah, Janelle. Just one more. Horseshoe Bay Beach. Horseshoe Bay Beach. We're looking for a crook. Yeah. You won. Nice job. Put him in the Put him in the chain. Put him in the chain. That is a winner's smile. Give it to you. There it is right there. Nice job. We'll talk to you in just a little bit. First off, fantastic job. Great work on your part. We got some great stuff for you. Chief. Lempke just came running upstairs with two of these pocket organizers. Check this out. It's the latest from Acme's Crime Lab. Now, I press this button to turn on my TV, and this one to rewind the tape. Uh, sorry. Anyway, you can store phone numbers, homework assignments, find out your daily fortune, and send secret messages. Plus, the Acme Travel Kit. That adds up to a pretty good day's work. Congratulations! Thank you, Chief. Okay, Janelle, here is your portfolio pate. You know what's inside here, right? Piece of paper, pen. She, she's going already. <laughs> gonna write down where she'd like to go. She catches car from San Diego and gets that trip. Start the music, and the writing has begun. Here we go. I may have to go with you. I may have to go with you on this one. Yes, this is a choice I would make if I, too, were a gumshoe in this position. Now, we just need a phone call, right? Oh, there it is right there. Hello? Oh! Isn't that nice? Thank you very much. Hello? Yeah, she's right here. Hold on. Hello? Darn that, Carmen. I've gone from salesman of the century to starch and socks in the prison laundry. I'm climbing down the ladder of success. Look for Carmen in Asia. All right, Janelle, we're after Carmen San Diego. Chief, what can you tell us? Here's a list of places Carmen may have traveled. Turkey. <laughs> Lebanon. <laughs> Saudi Arabia. United Arab Emirates, Kazakhstan, Tajikistan, Pakistan, China, Malaysia, Hong Kong, Indonesia, Taiwan, Japan. Greg, let's go to the map. Feel good. Not bad. So now you're ready, right? Okay, put a marker in your hands. Get 45 seconds up on the clock. Good luck to you, buddy. Here we go. On your mark, get set, go. Come with the Shanghai, China. China. Do it, do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Super Malaysia, Malaysia. Don't do it, buddy. Hurry up, hurry up. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, let's go. Taipei, Taiwan. Taipei, Taiwan. Go, buddy. You know it. Yeah. We got Saudi Arabia, Saudi Arabia. Go, 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 go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're over to Mongolia, Mongolia, Mongolia. You know this one. Yeah. We're talking Japan, Japan, Japan. Woo! Yeah. We're down in Indonesia, Indonesia. Go, buddy, go, you got it. Try it again, try it again. Indonesia. 
Let's go! It's only on Pakistan, pour it on Pakistan, go! Oh! Oh! Seven and 45 seconds, give her a big round of applause. Big round of applause. So close, man, so close. You did an excellent job. We got some great stuff for you. Chief, what do you say? We know it's a tough job, but you did find the loot and you did catch the crook. So you deserve a reward. How's this? A new portable CD music system, complete with stereo speakers, a cassette deck, AM, FM radio, and this collection of music from around the world. You made it. You're a sleuth. Congratulations. Oh, man, you're great. You're great, you know. Wore me out. That was the closest I've ever seen. That was fantastic. Listen, you've been doing some great stuff for us today. There's one more thing I want you to do. You know what it is. Well, she sneaks around the world from Bahia to Carolina. She's a sticky finger filter from Berlin down to Belize. She'll take you for a ride on a slow boat to China. Tell me where in the world is Carmen San Diego. Steal their soul and soul. This is Len Dixon for Where in the World is Carmen San Diego. And remember, hey, you thugs with brains like rocks. Acme's gonna clean your clocks.